The study was conducted by the Breast Cancer Fund and the Silent Spring Institute. We wanted to find out if reducing people's exposure to food-based sources of BPA would have the same effect on their bodies and reduce BPA in their bodies. So we enlisted five families in the San Francisco Bay Area, and these were families of four with a mom, a dad, and two kids. And we selected families who were likely to have some exposure to BPA um, from the foods that they ate, either because they ate a lot of canned foods, drank canned sodas, or ate a lot of meals outside of the home. This one LA, also known as BPA, is a chemical used to make linings of food cans. It makes a protective barrier between the metal of the can and the food. The problem is that BPA leaches out of those linings, migrates into the food, and then gets into people. According to the Centers for Disease Control, 93% of Americans have detectable levels of BPA in their bodies. BPA is an endocrine disruptor, which means it disrupts delicate hormone systems. Laboratory, uh, laboratory studies suggest that BPA might play a role in breast cancer and also prostate cancer, infertility, early puberty, obesity, diabetes, and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD. When families were eating the foods that we provided, their BPA levels actually fell dramatically by an average of 60 percent. And then when they went back to their normal diets, BPA levels went right back up. Very simply, these results show that people can dramatically decrease their BPA levels within their bodies through some very simple changes by lowering their consumption of food and beverage that comes from cans and by some very simple changes in their kitchen habits. So storing their food in stainless steel and glass containers, eating fresh foods, and not microwaving in plastics. And where possible, people should try not to eat out quite so much, especially if they usually go to restaurants where the food is not really fresh. As consumers and voters, we have power. For example, when consumers rose up and demanded BPA-free baby bottles, the market responded. And then there were BPA-free baby bottles on the shelves. We can ask for the same kinds of changes with regard to food and make a big change on our supermarket shelves and see BPA-free options there.